Hi, welcome to Evening Prayer. We are praying the Psalms through Lent and thinking about God who journeys with us through the joys and the sorrows of life. And it's St. Patrick's Day. People all over the world are celebrating all things Irish. Maybe you got a text message from your American friends telling you about how Irish their great grandmother was. Um, And for us, it is a time to be grateful to God for those who went before us, the people who were obedient to the call of God to pass on the way of Jesus to us. Within about a 100 years of St. Patrick, Jesus following communities were established at Movilla and all over the island. They not only passed on the scriptures and the way of Jesus to us, but they went out all over the world. We take our place in that long line of people willing to sacrifice so that others might come to know how much God loves them. So as we prepare our hearts and minds to hear from God, We're going to light this candle as a visual reminder to ourselves that Jesus is present with us by his spirit. And then we're going to be still. And then we're going to pray together some words attributed to Patrick and they'll appear on the screen. So. We light this candle as a reminder of the presence of Christ the light of the whole world. Holy Spirit, come. Still our hearts. Open our ears to you. Let's pray together using these words. May the strength of God guide us. May the power of God preserve us. May the wisdom of God instruct us. May the hand of God protect us. May the way of God direct us. Amen. Today's psalm, Psalm 71, could not be more appropriate for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, Psalm 71 talks about God as our refuge and as our rescuer. Psalm 71 reflects on our relationship with God from uh, from youth into old age. Patrick uh, grew up in a wealthy household before being kidnapped and sold as a slave in Ireland. He was known as the holy youth because of the strength of his relationship with God. And then when he had his freedom, He felt the call to return to Ireland as a missionary and share the good news of Jesus with the people who had imprisoned him. Psalm 71 talks about facing real trouble and hardship. But it concludes, my mouth will tell of your righteous deeds, of your saving acts all day long. Whoever wrote this psalm had experiences uh, that Patrick could really have related to, and perhaps you can relate to them too today. Maybe you see the hand of God in your past and wonder where God is now or what is for the future. Maybe you can see where God has rescued you, or maybe you're calling out for rescue right now. Through these psalm lyrics, 
we go on that journey of reflection and we're invited to conclude, as the psalmist did and as Patrick did, that whatever hardships we face, they will simply become more opportunities to speak of the grace and power and love of God. So let's pray these words together. And if you want to follow along in the NIV version that I'm reading, you can click on the link with this video. We pray. In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, rescue me and deliver me. Turn your ear to me and save me. Be my rock of refuge to which I can always go. Give the command to save me for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of those who are evil and cruel. For you have been my hope, sovereign Lord, my confidence since my youth. From my birth, I have relied on you. You brought me forth from my mother's womb. I will ever praise you. I have become a sign to many. You are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise, declaring your splendor all day long. Do not cast me away when I am old. Do not forsake me when my strength is gone. For my enemies speak against me. Those who wait to kill me conspire together. They say, God's forsaken him. Pursue him and seize him for no one will rescue him. Do not be far from me, my God. Come quickly, God, to help me. May my accusers perish in shame. May those who want to harm me be covered with scorn and disgrace. As for me, I shall always have hope. I will praise you more and more. My mouth will tell of your righteous deeds, of your saving acts all day long, though I don't know how to relate them all. I will come and proclaim your mighty acts, sovereign Lord. I will proclaim your righteous deeds, yours alone. Since my youth, God, you have taught me, and to this day, I declare your marvellous deeds. Even when I'm old and grey, do not forsake me, my God, till I declare your power to the next generation, your mighty acts to all who are to come. Your righteousness, God, reaches to the heavens. You who have done great things, who is like you, God? Though you've made me see troubles, many and bitter, you will restore my life again. From the depths of the earth, you will again bring me up. You will increase my honour and comfort me once more. I will praise you with the harp for your faithfulness, my God. I will sing praise to you with the lyre, Holy One of Israel. My lips will shout for joy when I sing praise to you, I whom you have delivered. My tongue will tell of your righteous acts all day long. For those who wanted to harm me have been put to shame and confusion. And we finish with a blessing. Why don't you join me as we say these words? Christ with me, Christ within me. Christ before me, Christ behind me. Christ beneath me, Christ above me. Christ to the right of me, Christ to the left of me. Christ in the heart of everyone who thinks of me. Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks to me. 
Christ in the eye of everyone that sees me. Christ in the ear of everyone that hears me. Christ when I lie down. Christ when I arise. Amen. Amen.